What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to Overpriced First Affordable episode 14. This episode is one of the biggest episodes we've had to date. It's got one of the most expensive players that we've done and one of the most interesting comparisons that I've had before. Uh, so this week we have the inform Mike on Leite up against the ordinary Neto Barola. Now he's set there as a centre forward but when I used him I actually moved him to a striker. So when we get to the clips shortly, I'm going to talk more about each individual players, the comparisons, etc. But before we get onto that, I'm going to talk about the costs and their value for money. So due to the lack of Mike on Laetes that were released, there's no particular price for him. He ranges anywhere from 1 million to 2 million, depends when you see him on the market. At the time of recording this, the cheapest one was 1.1 million, but I've seen some go for up to 2.5. So it's completely how you play the market. If you need to have the coins to be able to buy players like him, you can check out FIFA coins online. There's a link in the description if you want to go and check them out. They're pretty awesome. So yeah, go and have a look at their Facebook page and then a link to their website from that. Neto Barola is a stark contrast to that with just 1,000 coins. means an absolute bargain. Pretty much anyone could pick him up if they really wanted him. So onto the quality and value for money. Now, Mike on Leite is undeniably a five-star quality player, ridiculously good with his five-star skills and all that, but we're going to talk more about that later on. Neto Barola, I've given four-star quality because he's not quite in the same league as Mike on Leite, but he is definitely good for what he is. Now, Mike on Leite being so expensive, I've given him a two-star value for money because you can't give him anything more with that extremely ludicrous price tag and just uh, out of control. Whereas Neto Broler, I've given five star for value for money because he's just a grand and you can't go wrong buying any player for a grand now, can you? So now I'm going to go onto the clips and talk more about the players individually. Now, Michael Leite, I include in a squad builder, which I probably won't remember to link because, as some of you guys know, I am actually away. I'm recording this like a week ago. Um, I'm making like 10 videos in one day. Um, so the, uh, they're, they're all being scheduled upload, so there won't be much monitoring of the comments and stuff. But uh, Michael Leite is ridiculously good. Five-star skills, unbelievable long shot. All his in-game stats and stuff were included in that squad builder. So if you really do want to go and check it out and have a, a bit more of a uh, detailed look at him, then you can check out there. But uh, yeah, like I said, five-star skills. He's got brilliant shot, brilliant free kicks, brilliant pace, literally everything you want from a striker. And to make it even better, he is silver. Now, you could put him in any gold team. He's just as good as any Alexandra Pato or Rubinho, if not better. He's got a little bit more to his game uh, with his touch and stuff like that. And I think his finishing might even be better. But um, on to Neto Barola. He's sadly just freestyle skills, but he is a very, very good player at that. He's got 92 pace, really good finishing. He's very, very good uh, with his attacking positioning. Uh, his free kicks aren't too great, but as you can see with things like that, he has a fantastic long shot, really good shot power. And uh, like I said with uh, Michael Leite, these two are brilliant in silver teams. Like They are top-class silvers. Now, I would personally recommend both of them. If you can get both, then definitely. Um, we're not in the same team, though. It just depends on your price bracket. If you can afford Mike on Leite, then get Mike on Leite. If you can't, get Neto Barola. He'll do the job. So thanks always for watching, guys. If you could leave a like, that'd be fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, so I'm going to link my Twitter in the description. If you could go and follow me on Twitter, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.